Hi students and family members, this is Mr. Panza. Welcome into a video on how we can create multiplication number sentences. In a previous video, we took you through how to create multiplication number sentences and why the commutative property can help us create multiple number sentences for multiplication. In fact, you could create four multiplication number sentences. Let me show you a couple of examples and let's try it out together. If you don't have this worksheet, you can print one out from my website. It should be right beneath this video. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll have to go to my website and actually click on the link and then print this out. And you can follow along with us. Our main question is, how can we represent multiplication with number sentences? And I'm specifically talking about multiplication number sentences. Because we know that multiplication is nothing more than repeated addition, some students will tend to show number sentences as addition type problems. But what we're looking for is multiplication number sentences. So let's take a look at the first six together. I want to represent the following with number sentences. Place your answers on these lines. Write two multiplication number sentences using the numbers 35, 7, and 5. What we tried to help the students recognize is that 35, 7, and 5 are a fact family. The reason they're a fact family is because typically combining two of the numbers will get you the other or the third number as an answer. This is normally a third grade skill that the students have mastered. You place the two smaller numbers on the bottom of the triangle with a multiplication symbol to help you realize that 7 times 5 is 35 and 5 times 7 is 35. There's two multiplication number sentences right there. You can also do division number sentences. If you start with the largest number and divide 35 by 7, you would get 5. Or divide 35 by 5, you would get 7. But remember, we only want multiplication number sen sentences. So our answer is going to be 35. So let's take a look at the first one. My first fact family tells me that if I multiply 7 times 5, I'm going to get the answer of 35. This is a multiplication number sentence because it uses numbers, the operation, and equal sign, which makes it an equation, and we're good to go. You can also commute these numbers. 5 can commute over into the first position, and 7 can commute over into the second position. Commuting means that they can move. This is the commutative property of multiplication. When they move, the reason it's a property, they're still going to give you the same exact answer. And that is the definition of the communication or commutative property of multiplication. When you move those two numbers, it doesn't make a difference. Sometimes, people will change where the actual answer is. So the reason you could create four multiplication number sentences is because you could start with the answer 35 and say that it is or is equal to 7 times greater than 5. You could also, again, use the commutative property of multiplication to say that 35 is 5 times larger than 5. 7. Here are your four multiplication number sentences. 7 times 5 is 35, 5 times 7 is 35, or 35 is 7 times 5, 35 is 5 times 7. Using fact families or your knowledge of the commutative property of multiplication will help you create multiplication number sentences. Let's try it without the fact families this time. I'm again creating two multiplication number sentences to represent the statement 54 is 9 times as many as 6. Well, what I told the students to recognize is that in math, you can take words and create math operations or equation signs or numbers. 54 is. Whenever I see that word is, I immediately think equal. So it is equal to. 9, and when I see that time sign, I'm immediately going to write my multiplication symbol, and then my 6. So really, the answer is right there in the wording of this question. 54 is, or equals, 9 times as many as 6, or 9 times 6. 9 groups of 6, or 6 groups of 9, which means you could also say 54 is equal to 6 times 9. Two multiplication number sentences using 14, 7, and 2. I would even accept 14 is 7 times 2, or 14 is 2 times 7. Some students like to put 14 is 7 times 2, or 7 times 2 is 14. 
even though this is basically the same exact number sentence, I would count it as two separate number sentences because it shows the understanding that the answer can come first or it can come last. Even though we're so used to reading left to right in the English language, in mathematics you can place an equation or an answer, in this case the product to a multiplication question, on either the far left or the far right. Number seven and eight, again we are representing with a multiplication number sentence, and I'm looking right here, that is tells me I should put an equal sign, eight times six, so forty is eight times as many as 6, or 8 times 6. You could also say 40 is, or 40 equals, 6 times as many as 8. This is using your knowledge of words and converting them into mathematics. This is using your knowledge of fact families. This is using your knowledge of the commutative property to try and come up with multiplication sentences and number sentences to help solve math problems. Talk to you soon.